most, I don't think failure is, is, is a huge negative. I mean, there's certain types of failures, like the failure of integrity. That's hard to recover from, right? But, you know, failure of a startup, you know, I know just speaking with all of my partners, that's not a, that's not a negative. You know, we would talk about that as, as, as a learning experience. I think that goes for, you know, for, for most of I think sometimes we let, you know, what we, what we hear, the loud voices or like on, on John's great, you know, blog, you know, you're just all these comments, oh, you know, that's, I think that's a minority of folks that just speak really loudly. My, my sense is, is that in this community for, you know, the folks that, that uh, that I know that you associate with, and that we all, you know, uh, you know, that are that are doing stuff and have been startups and are and are funding startups. I don't think failure is it's a negative at all. It's just another you know piece of the. But how's that different from from Boston or San Francisco? Is it perceived differently or not? So so I've invested I've in, I've invested nationally um, for 15 years. You know, Boston, New York, uh, Seattle, L.A., San Francisco, Colorado, Chicago. Texas. Those are kind of the places. Probably have a couple of other random ones, but those are places I can think of that I've done more than one one investment and spent time in the communities. Um, I actually believe that failure, the the shtick of failure as a badge of honor, is really great shtick. Um, it's re I failed a lot. It's hard to fail, and failure impacts the person that fails the most, and it impacts them one of two ways. Um, it either causes them to lose confidence and be hesitant, which investors smell, react to, whatever, and that becomes part of the calculus, or it creates a positive feedback loop, which I, you know, has different characteristics. It could be it emboldens them. It could be it puts a chip on their shoulder. It could be that it gives the person something that they need to prove. So you tend to filter both ways. Let's take the positive of those two. Obviously, if it if you retreat, it makes you uncomfortable. That's fine. A lot of great entrepreneurs go through a phase like that and come out of that phase much stronger. But let's take the other one. The, I've had a success, I made some money, and now I failed. And I lost the investor money, and I lost my money, and I spent three, four, or five years of my time, and I da 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 If you get a chip on your shoulder from that, and you're like, God damn it, the next time I'm going to win, I want to talk to you. And I think most investors want to talk to entrepreneurs like that. Um, if you fail and fail and fail and fail and continue to repeat the patterns each time, that's a bad signal. <laughs> right? So, so, so it varies. But I don't think the general shtick of failure is good or, you know, I used to hear failure is not an option. I heard that for a while too. I, I think what it is is it's just a character building phenomenon. And in a community, I think the thing is that, that you can do, actually, one of the reasons I think Boston has resurged as such an entrepreneurial community in a good way in the last uh, couple of years is it had a massive chip on its shoulder because it had failed. Boston was a great entrepreneurial community, the first software, a great entrepreneurial community of the 80s, early 90s. It was ahead of the valley in you know, 95 to 98, 99. Uh, there were probably more internet startups happening at the beginning of that phase uh, in Cambridge uh, than there were in the Valley. Something happened, probably all the MIT business school and Harvard business school students uh, flooded the system with a bunch of crap. And the VCs retreated, those guys stopped, whatever. And then the Valley you know, built critical mass that far outstripped Boston. Boston had a ship on the shoulder. And even in 2004, 2000, 2006, right? Oh, woe is me. No startups here. There's no capital here, and and it changed very quickly, based on the <coughs> entrepreneurs. Right? It wasn't guys like me and Greg. It was the entrepreneurs saying, "This is there's good stuff here. Let's go do things." So I think it's it's very interesting how that dynamic, at least in my experience, tends to drive behavior one of two ways. And I always encourage it to, you know, fire you up rather than tear you down. <laughs>